Welcome to this Abide Bedtime Story. As you begin to go to sleep tonight, listen peacefully to the promise that every knee shall bow before Him. Psalms chapter 95 verse 6 gently encourages us, O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker know you are secure in the knowledge that your prayers are being heard the unwanted trials and sufferings have been consumed through Jesus work in your dreams may you see the wonders of God come to pass in your life so get comfortable snuggle down into the covers and relax Close your eyes and feel the day melt away. Take a deep breath and then exhale it, almost like a sigh. Feel the emptiness of your lungs before taking another breath, in and out. Reflect on where your knees and feet are and relax them removing the tensions of the day think of them kneeling at the foot of the cross with no fear or anxious thoughts safe and secure in the Savior's presence as you pray Lord Jesus I thank you for this promise that every knee will bow I think of those who don't serve you and how their knees will bow I also think of myself and how I will be humbled before you Lord even now give me peace within my soul to know that you are a just God a loving and merciful God who forgives and renews renew my spirit through peaceful sleep I pray Amen. Many people kneeled before Jesus. In Mark chapter 1, verse 40, a leper knelt before Jesus, imploring, If you will, you can. Make me clean. Leprosy was a terrible disease, not only physically, but emotionally causing a person to be an outcast from his family and community imagine the scene Jesus with a crowd of people pressing around him the murmur of whispers as the crowd parts in fear that this poor leper might touch and infect them but Jesus doesn't move away the leper in his tattered clothing feeling his weakness and shame showing every ounce of his desperation his hands fall limply to the ground to support himself and his eyes don't open as he breathes deeply it took so much energy and faith to just approach Jesus to break through the barriers of social norms and to hope one more time in someone something that could help him if you will you can he spoke he did not doubt Jesus ability to make him clean but he did doubt his willingness would this man be willing does he love him enough does he consider him worthy Jesus responded by healing him physically and emotionally the next verse goes on to tell us that Jesus moved with pity he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him I will be clean Jesus is moved by our needs 
our humility as we kneel before him others may walk by us not noticing us not acknowledging our presence but Jesus is moved to feeling picture him stretching out his hand towards you we place ourselves before him and he stretches himself towards us he goes beyond the everyday he moves into action towards us feel the soft gentle touch of Jesus on you for this leper it was probably the first time he had been touched that someone cared enough to risk infection for a long time and then Jesus whispers I will he is not only able but he is willing he wants to use his power in our lives for our good he sees us and he wants to help and then he says those wonderful words the words we have been longing to hear be clean feel the power of forgiveness of mercy not only does he see you he wants to help you even now as you drift off to sleep he is touching you and helping you in ways you may never know thank the Lord for his willingness to touch you to heal your hurts feel the power the release flowing through you even now as you rest in the moment relaxed in your efforts receiving his grace once a mother came to Jesus and knelt before him Matthew chapter 20 verse 20 through 21 says then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons and kneeling before him she asked him for something and he said to her what do you want this is such a tender picture of a mother wanting what is best for her sons like the leper it took faith courage for her to come before Jesus and kneel she was probably not young as her sons were adults she may have even struggled to take such a prone position it showed her reverence for him and her complete faith that he could and would do what she asked picture yourself kneeling in front of Jesus knowing he has the strength to meet all your needs picture yourself kneeling in front of him wanting to ask him something but not really finding the words what if he thinks we're not worthy to ask or that it is a silly thing what if he thinks it's too big for him or even worse that he doesn't want to do it and then picture him gently saying what do you want he wanted to hear everything that was on this mother's heart he wanted her to pour out her need even if it seemed silly to others it was not to him he cares he invites her he invites you unburden your heart to him even as you take your next breath breathe it out to him let him know your longings and then feel your anxiety melt as he takes your burdens those unfulfilled dreams and desires he takes your burdens off your back and places them on his own he wants to know each one of them and he wants to free you from them even if they seem silly or trite he wants to know feel the weight taken off of you feel the release of tension emotionally and physically 
relax because it is no longer your burden but his relax your shoulders your arms your neck there is a beautiful word picture as you read further into our original psalm passage oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the lord our maker for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand there are so many reasons to kneel before jesus there is desperation like the leper there is a love for others like the mother but the knowledge of who god is the character of god that also causes us to fall on our knees he is our lord and to say it another way he is our master he has chosen us to be his sheep in his pasture being cared for without worry or stress eating his lush grass provided for thank him for calling you to himself reflect on the sweetness as he entered your life with his saving power of his forgiveness of his grace of his salvation God is also our maker as the person who created you he knows you because he formed you as his work of art he knows your heart and desires and longings he also knows your weaknesses your struggles he more than anyone else knows what you are lacking and how he can meet your needs picture in your mind an artist painting a beautiful painting of a city see colors and parts you are drawn to then look around in the painting and see the shadows and darkness that you maybe don't really like God painted you with beauty and shadows he wants to be with you even in the shadows or picture a potter forming a vase on the potter's wheel spinning around and around right now it's a shapeless blob as it goes around and around his hands firm yet gentle embrace the vase he knows its purpose he knows its possibilities as he places pressure in one location he allows it to be free in others causing it to take a unique shape he knows the color glaze he's going to put on the outside but more than anything he knows the love he has felt in forming the inside and then there is the oven the kiln where the vase is baked he knows the perfect temperature that will bake the vase without breaking it he knows how long the vase needs to bake to make it strong he is perfect and he makes things that are perfect in his eyes in the next verse the psalmist reminds us for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand we have been thinking tonight of who god is but this is a gentle reminder of who we are the sheep of his pasture he wants to care for us by providing pastures places of refreshment and rest he has provided the place you are in right now to give you rest close your eyes picture yourself as a sheep content in your pasture content in having the good shepherd care for you lay yourself down and cuddle into the deep lush grass take a deep breath and listen to the stream nearby feel the coolness of the breeze as it strokes your face melt into the ground as you start to fall asleep knowing you are safe in his hands
as we rest in his pasture let's talk to God let's bow our knee in submission to him and his will Lord we thank you that every knee will bow we thank you for the way you have met the needs of those in Scripture as they knelt before you and we know that you will meet our needs as we kneel before you bless this person listening as they are one of the sheep in your pasture and that you hold them in your hand Lord we need rest and sleep as only you can give we need refreshment for tomorrow a renewal of our spirit to do what you have for us to do we pray that even now we will drift off to sleep complete relaxation secure in your love and acceptance knowing that you desire to meet all our needs Lord be with us as we rest in you in the name of Jesus amen continue to breathe deeply in and out knowing that your maker knows all about your life sink deeply into the knowledge that he wants to bless you and comfort you and protect you rest in his arm As you begin to go to sleep tonight, listen peacefully to the promise that every knee shall bow before him. Psalms chapter 95, verse 6, gently encourages us. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker know you are secure in the knowledge that your prayers are being heard the unwanted trials and sufferings have been consumed through Jesus work in your dreams may you see the wonders of God come to pass in your life so get comfortable snuggle down into the covers and relax close your eyes and feel the day melt away take a deep breath and then exhale it almost like a sigh feel the emptiness of your lungs before taking another breath in and out reflect on where your knees and feet are and relax them removing the tensions of the day think of them kneeling at the foot of the cross with no fear or anxious thoughts safe and secure in the Savior's presence as you pray Lord Jesus I thank you for this promise that every knee will bow I think of those who don't serve you and how their knees will bow I also think of myself and how I will be humbled before you Lord even now give me peace within my soul to know that you are a just God a loving and merciful God who forgives and renews renew my spirit through peaceful sleep I pray amen many people kneeled before Jesus in mark chapter 1 verse 40 a leper knelt before Jesus imploring if you will you can make me clean leprosy was a terrible disease not only physically but emotionally causing a person to be an outcast from his family and community imagine the scene Jesus with a crowd of people pressing around him 
The murmur of whispers as the crowd parts in fear that this poor leper might touch and infect them. But Jesus doesn't move away. The leper, in his tattered clothing, feeling his weakness and shame, showing every ounce of his desperation his hands fall limply to the ground to support himself and his eyes don't open as he breathes deeply it took so much energy and faith to just approach jesus to break through the barriers of social norms and to hope one more time in someone something that could help him if you will you can he spoke he did not doubt Jesus ability to make him clean but he did doubt his willingness would this man be willing does he love him enough does he consider him worthy Jesus responded by healing him physically and emotionally the next verse goes on to tell us that Jesus moved with pity he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him I will be clean Jesus is moved by our needs our humility as we kneel before him others may walk by us not noticing us not acknowledging our presence but Jesus is moved to feeling picture him stretching out his hand towards you we place ourselves before him and he stretches himself towards us he goes beyond the everyday He moves into action towards us. Feel the soft, gentle touch of Jesus on you. For this leper, it was probably the first time he had been touched. That someone cared enough to risk infection for a long time. And then Jesus whispers, I will he is not only able but he is willing he wants to use his power in our lives for our good he sees us and he wants to help and then he says those wonderful words the words we have been longing to hear be clean feel the power of forgiveness of mercy not only does he see you he wants to help you even now as you drift off to sleep he is touching you and helping you in ways you may never know thank the Lord for his willingness to touch you to heal your hurts feel the power the release flowing through you even now as you rest in the moment relaxed in your efforts receiving his grace once a mother came to Jesus and knelt before him Matthew chapter 20 verse 20 through 21 says then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons and kneeling before him she asked him for something and he said to her what do you want this is such a tender picture of a mother wanting what is best for her sons like the leper it took faith courage for her to come before Jesus and kneel she was probably not young as her sons were adults she may have even struggled to take such a prone position It showed her reverence for him and her complete faith that he could and would do what she asked. 
picture yourself kneeling in front of Jesus, knowing he has the strength to meet all your needs. Picture yourself kneeling in front of him, wanting to ask him something, but not really finding the words. What if he thinks we're not worthy to ask, or that it is a silly thing? What if he thinks it's too big for him, or even worse, that he doesn't want to do it? And then picture him gently saying, what do you want he wanted to hear everything that was on this mother's heart he wanted her to pour out her need even if it seemed silly to others it was not to him he cares he invites her he invites you unburden your heart to him even as you take your next breath breathe it out to him let him know your longings and then feel your anxiety melt as he takes your burdens those unfulfilled dreams and desires he takes your burdens off your back and places them on his own he wants to know each one of them and he wants to free you from them even if they seem silly or trite he wants to know feel the weight taken off of you feel the release of tension emotionally and physically relax because it is no longer your burden but his relax your shoulders your arms your neck there is a beautiful word picture as you read further into our original psalm passage oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand there are so many reasons to kneel before Jesus there is desperation like the leper there is a love for others like the mother but the knowledge of who God is the character of God that also causes us to fall on our knees he is our Lord and to say it another way he is our master he has chosen us to be his sheep in his pasture being cared for without worry or stress eating his lush grass provided for thank him for calling you to himself reflect on the sweetness as he entered your life with his saving power of his forgiveness of his grace of his salvation God is also our maker as the person who created you he knows you because he formed you as his work of art he knows your heart and desires and longings he also knows your weaknesses struggles he more than anyone else knows what you are lacking and how he can meet your needs picture in your mind an artist painting a beautiful painting of a city see colors and parts you are drawn to then look around in the painting and see the shadows and darkness that you maybe don't really like God painted you with beauty and shadows He wants to be with you even in the shadows or picture a potter forming a vase on the potter's wheel spinning around and around right now it's a shapeless blob as it goes around and around his hands firm yet gentle embrace the vase he knows its purpose he knows its possibilities as he places pressure in one location he allows it to be free in others causing it to take a unique shape he knows the color glaze he's going to put on the outside but more than anything 
he knows the love he has felt in forming the inside and then there is the oven the kiln where the vase is baked he knows the perfect temperature that will bake the vase without breaking it he knows how long the vase needs to bake to make it strong he is perfect and he makes things that are perfect in his eyes in the next verse the psalmist reminds us for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand we have been thinking tonight of who god is but this is a gentle reminder of who we are the sheep of his pasture he wants to care for us by providing pastures places of refreshment and rest he has provided the place you are in right now to give you rest close your eyes picture yourself as a sheep content in your pasture content in having the good shepherd care for you lay yourself down and cuddle into the deep lush grass take a deep breath and listen to the stream nearby feel the coolness of the breeze as it strokes your face melt into the ground as you start to fall asleep knowing you are safe in his hands As we rest in his pasture, let's talk to God. Let's bow our knee in submission to him and his will. Lord, we thank you that every knee will bow. We thank you for the way you have met the needs of those in Scripture as they knelt before you. And we know that you will meet our needs as we kneel before you bless this person listening as they are one of the sheep in your pasture and that you hold them in your hand lord we need rest and sleep as only you can give we need refreshment for tomorrow a renewal of our spirit to do what you have for us to do we pray that even now we will drift off to sleep complete relaxation secure in your love and acceptance knowing that you desire to meet all our needs lord be with us as we rest in you in the name of jesus amen continue to breathe deeply in and out knowing that your maker knows all about your life sink deeply into the knowledge that he wants to bless you and comfort you and protect you rest in his arms as you begin to go to sleep tonight listen peacefully to the promise that every knee shall bow before him psalms chapter 95 verse 6 gently encourages us O come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the lord our maker know you are secure in the knowledge that your prayers are being heard the unwanted trials and sufferings have been consumed through jesus work in your dreams May you see the wonders of God come to pass in your life. So get comfortable. Snuggle down into the covers and relax. Close your eyes and feel the day melt away. Take a deep breath and then exhale it, almost like a sigh feel the emptiness of your lungs before taking another breath in and out 
Reflect on where your knees and feet are and relax them, removing the tensions of the day. Think of them kneeling at the foot of the cross with no fear or anxious thoughts, safe and secure in the Savior's presence as you pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this promise that every knee will bow. I think of those who don't serve you and how their knees will bow. I also think of myself and how I will be humbled before you. Lord, even now, give me peace within my soul to know that you are a just God, a loving and merciful God who forgives and renews. Renew my spirit through peaceful sleep, I pray. Amen. Many people kneeled before Jesus. In Mark chapter 1, verse 40, a leper knelt before Jesus, imploring, If you will, you can. Make me clean. Leprosy was a terrible disease not only physically, but emotionally, causing a person to be an outcast from his family and community. Imagine the scene, Jesus with a crowd of people pressing around him, the murmur of whispers as the crowd parts in fear that this poor leper might touch and infect them. But Jesus doesn't move away. The leper, in his tattered clothing, feeling his weakness and shame, showing every ounce of his desperation. His hands fall limply to the ground to support himself, and his eyes don't open as he breathes deeply. It took so much energy and faith to just approach Jesus to break through the barriers of social norms and to hope one more time in someone, something that could help him. If you will, you can, he spoke. He did not doubt Jesus' ability to make him clean, but he did doubt his willingness. Would this man be willing? Does he love him enough? Does he consider him worthy? Jesus responded by healing him physically and emotionally. The next verse goes on to tell us that Jesus moved with pity. He stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. Jesus is moved by our needs, our humility, as we kneel before him. Others may walk by us, not noticing us, not acknowledging our presence, but Jesus is moved to feeling. Picture him stretching out his hand towards you. We place ourselves before him and he stretches himself towards us. He goes beyond the everyday. He moves into action towards us. Feel the soft, gentle touch of Jesus on you. For this leper, it was probably the first time he had been touched that someone cared enough to risk infection for a long time. And then Jesus whispers, I will. He is not only able, but he is willing. He wants to use his power in our lives for our good. He sees us and he wants to help. And then he says those wonderful words, 
the words we have been longing to hear be clean feel the power of forgiveness of mercy not only does he see you he wants to help you even now as you drift off to sleep he is touching you and helping you in ways you may never know thank the Lord for his willingness to touch you to heal your hurts feel the power the release flowing through you even now as you rest in the moment relaxed in your efforts receiving his grace once a mother came to Jesus and knelt before him Matthew chapter 20 verse 20 through 21 says then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons and kneeling before him she asked him for something and he said to her what do you want this is such a tender picture of a mother wanting what is best for her sons like the leper it took faith courage for her to come before Jesus and kneel she was probably not young as her sons were adults she may have even struggled to take such a prone position it showed her reverence for him and her complete faith that he could and would do what she asked picture yourself kneeling in front of Jesus knowing he has the strength to meet all your needs picture yourself kneeling in front of him wanting to ask him something but not really finding the words what if he thinks we're not worthy to ask or that it is a silly thing what if he thinks it's too big for him or even worse that he doesn't want to do it and then picture him gently saying what do you want he wanted to hear everything that was on this mother's heart he wanted her to pour out her need even if it seemed silly to others it was not to him he cares he invites her he invites you unburden your heart to him even as you take your next breath breathe it out to him let him know your longings and then feel your anxiety melt as he takes your burdens those unfulfilled dreams and desires he takes your burdens off your back and places them on his own he wants to know each one of them and he wants to free you from them even if they seem silly or trite he wants to know feel the weight taken off of you feel the release of tension emotionally and physically relax because it is no longer your burden but his relax your shoulders your arms your neck there is a beautiful word picture as you read further into our original psalm passage oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand there are so many reasons to kneel before Jesus there is desperation like the leper there is a love for others like the mother but the knowledge of who God is the character of God that also causes us to fall on our knees he is our Lord and to say it another way he is our master he has chosen us to be his sheep in his pasture being cared for without worry or stress eating his lush grass provided for thank him for calling you to himself 
Reflect on the sweetness as he entered your life with his saving power, of his forgiveness, of his grace, of his salvation. God is also our maker. As the person who created you, he knows you because he formed you as his work of art. He knows your heart and desires and longings. He also knows your weaknesses, your struggles. He, more than anyone else, knows what you are lacking and how he can meet your needs. Picture in your mind an artist painting a beautiful painting of a city. See colors and parts you are drawn to. Then look around in the painting and see the shadows and darkness that you maybe don't really like. God painted you with beauty and shadows. He wants to be with you, even in the shadows. Or picture a potter forming a vase on the potter's wheel, spinning around and around. Right now, it's a shapeless blob. As it goes around and around, his hands firm yet gentle embrace the vase. He knows its purpose. He knows its possibilities. As he places pressure in one location, he allows it to be free in others, causing it to take a unique shape. He knows the color glaze he's going to put on the outside. But more than anything, he knows the love he has felt in forming the inside. And then there is the oven, the kiln, where the vase is baked. He knows the perfect temperature that will bake the vase without breaking it. He knows how long the vase needs to bake to make it strong. He is perfect, and he makes things that are perfect in his eyes. In the next verse, the psalmist reminds us, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. We have been thinking tonight of who God is, but this is a gentle reminder of who we are, the sheep of his pasture. He wants to care for us by providing pastures, places of refreshment and rest. He has provided the place you are in right now to give you rest. Close your eyes. Picture yourself as a sheep, content in your pasture, content in having the Good Shepherd care for you. Lay yourself down and cuddle into the deep, lush grass. Take a deep breath and listen to the stream nearby. Feel the coolness of the breeze as it strokes your face. melt into the ground as you start to fall asleep, knowing you are safe in his hands. As we rest in his pasture, let's talk to God. Let's bow our knee in submission to him and his will. Lord, We thank you that every knee will bow. We thank you for the way you have met the needs of those in Scripture as they knelt before you. And we know that you will meet our needs as we kneel before you. Bless this person listening as they are one of the sheep in your pasture and that you hold them in your hand. Lord, we need rest and sleep as only you can give. We need refreshment for tomorrow, a renewal of our spirit, to do what you have for us to do. We pray that even now we will drift off to sleep, complete relaxation, secure in your love and acceptance, knowing that you desire to meet all our needs. Lord, be with us as we rest in you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Continue to breathe deeply, in and out. 
knowing that your maker knows all about your life sink deeply into the knowledge that he wants to bless you and comfort you and protect you rest in his arms As you begin to go to sleep tonight, listen peacefully to the promise that every knee shall bow before him. Psalms chapter 95, verse 6 gently encourages us O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker know you are secure in the knowledge that your prayers are being heard the unwanted trials and sufferings have been consumed through jesus work in your dreams may you see the wonders of god come to pass in your life so get comfortable snuggle down into the covers and relax close your eyes and feel the day melt away take a deep breath and then exhale it almost like a sigh feel the emptiness of your lungs before taking another breath in and out reflect on where your knees and feet are and relax them removing the tensions of the day think of them kneeling at the foot of the cross with no fear or anxious thoughts safe and secure in the Savior's presence as you pray Lord Jesus I thank you for this promise that every knee will bow I think of those who don't serve you and how their knees will bow I also think of myself and how I will be humbled before you Lord even now give me peace within my soul to know that you are a just God a loving and merciful God who forgives and renews renew my spirit through peaceful sleep I pray Amen. Many people kneeled before Jesus. In Mark chapter 1, verse 40, a leper knelt before Jesus, imploring, If you will, you can. Make me clean. Leprosy was a terrible disease, not only physically, but emotionally causing a person to be an outcast from his family and community imagine the scene Jesus with a crowd of people pressing around him the murmur of whispers as the crowd parts in fear that this poor leper might touch and infect them but Jesus doesn't move away the leper in his tattered clothing feeling his weakness and shame showing every ounce of his desperation his hands fall limply to the ground to support himself and his eyes don't open as he breathes deeply it took so much energy and faith to just approach Jesus to break through the barriers of social norms and to hope one more time in someone something that could help him if you will you can he spoke he did not doubt jesus ability to make him clean but he did doubt his willingness would this man be willing does he love him enough does he consider him worthy Jesus responded by healing him physically and emotionally 
The next verse goes on to tell us that Jesus moved with pity. He stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. Jesus is moved by our needs, our humility, as we kneel before him. Others may walk by us, not noticing us, not acknowledging our presence, but Jesus is moved to feeling. Picture him stretching out his hand towards you. We place ourselves before him, and he stretches himself towards us. He goes beyond the everyday. He moves into action towards us. Feel the soft, gentle touch of Jesus on you. For this leper, it was probably the first time he had been touched that someone cared enough to risk infection for a long time. And then Jesus whispers, I will. He is not only able, but he is willing. He wants to use his power in our lives for our good. He sees us and he wants to help. And then he says those wonderful words, the words we have been longing to hear. Be clean. Feel the power of forgiveness of mercy not only does he see you he wants to help you even now as you drift off to sleep he is touching you and helping you in ways you may never know thank the Lord for his willingness to touch you to heal your hurts feel the power the release flowing through you even now as you rest in the moment relaxed in your efforts receiving his grace once a mother came to jesus and knelt before him matthew chapter 20 verse 20 through 21 says then the mother of the sons of zebedee came up to him with her sons and kneeling before him she asked him for something And he said to her, What do you want? This is such a tender picture of a mother wanting what is best for her sons. Like the leper, it took faith, courage for her to come before Jesus and kneel. She was probably not young as her sons were adults. She may have even struggled to take such a prone position. It showed her reverence for him and her complete faith that he could and would do what she asked. Picture yourself kneeling in front of Jesus, knowing he has the strength to meet all your needs. Picture yourself kneeling in front of him, wanting to ask him something, but not really finding the words. What if he thinks we're not worthy to ask, or that it is a silly thing? What if he thinks it's too big for him, or even worse, that he doesn't want to do it? And then picture him gently saying, What do you want? He wanted to hear everything that was on this mother's heart. He wanted her to pour out her need, even if it seemed silly to others. It was not to him. He cares. He invites her. He invites you. Unburden your heart to him, even as you take your next breath. Breathe it out to him. Let him know your longings and then feel your anxiety melt as he takes your burdens those unfulfilled dreams and desires he takes your burdens off your back and places them on his own 
he wants to know each one of them and he wants to free you from them even if they seem silly or trite he wants to know feel the weight taken off of you feel the release of tension emotionally and physically relax because it is no longer your burden but his relax your shoulders your arms your neck there is a beautiful word picture as you read further into our original psalm passage oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand there are so many reasons to kneel before Jesus there is desperation like the leper there is a love for others like the mother but the knowledge of who God is the character of God that also causes us to fall on our knees he is our Lord and to say it another way he is our master he has chosen us to be his sheep in his pasture being cared for without worry or stress eating his lush grass provided for thank him for calling you to himself reflect on the sweetness as he entered your life with his saving power of his forgiveness of his grace of his salvation God is also our maker as the person who created you he knows you because he formed you as his work of art he knows your heart and desires and longings he also knows your weaknesses your struggles he more than anyone else knows what you are lacking and how he can meet your needs picture in your mind an artist painting a beautiful painting of a city see colors and parts you are drawn to then look around in the painting and see the shadows and darkness that you maybe don't really like God painted you with beauty and shadows he wants to be with you even in the shadows or picture a potter forming a vase on the potter's wheel spinning around and around right now it's a shapeless blob as it goes around and around his hands firm yet gentle embrace the vase he knows its purpose he knows its possibilities as he places pressure in one location he allows it to be free in others causing it to take a unique shape he knows the color glaze he's going to put on the outside but more than anything he knows the love he has felt in forming the inside and then there is the oven the kiln where the vase is baked he knows the perfect temperature that will bake the vase without breaking it he knows how long the vase needs to bake to make it strong he is perfect and he makes things that are perfect in his eyes in the next verse the psalmist reminds us for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand we have been thinking tonight of who God is but this is a gentle reminder of who we are the sheep of his pasture he wants to care for us by providing pastures places of refreshment and rest he has provided the place you are in right now to give you rest close your eyes picture yourself as a sheep content in your pasture content in having the good shepherd care for you lay yourself down and cuddle into the deep lush grass take a deep breath and listen to the stream nearby 
feel the coolness of the breeze as it strokes your face melt into the ground as you start to fall asleep knowing you are safe in his hands as we rest in his pasture let's talk to God let's bow our knee in submission to him and his will Lord we thank you that every knee will bow we thank you for the way you have met the needs of those in Scripture as they knelt before you and we know that you will meet our needs as we kneel before you bless this person listening as they are one of the sheep in your pasture and that you hold them in your hand Lord we need rest and sleep as only you can give we need refreshment for tomorrow a renewal of our spirit to do what you have for us to do we pray that even now we will drift off to sleep complete relaxation secure in your love and acceptance knowing that you desire to meet all our needs Lord be with us as we rest in you in the name of Jesus amen continue to breathe deeply in and out knowing that your maker knows all about your life sink deeply into the knowledge that he wants to bless you and comfort you and protect you rest in his arm as you begin to go to sleep tonight listen peacefully to the promise that every knee shall bow before him Psalms chapter 95 verse 6 gently encourages us O come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker know you are secure in the knowledge that your prayers are being heard the unwanted trials and sufferings have been consumed through Jesus work in your dreams may you see the wonders of God come to pass in your life so get comfortable snuggle down into the covers and relax close your eyes and feel the day melt away take a deep breath and then exhale it almost like a sigh feel the emptiness of your lungs before taking another breath in and out reflect on where your knees and feet are and relax them removing the tensions of the day think of them kneeling at the foot of the cross with no fear or anxious thoughts safe and secure in the Savior's presence as you pray Lord Jesus I thank you for this promise that every knee will bow I think of those who don't serve you and how their knees will bow I also think of myself and how I will be humbled before you Lord even now give me peace within my soul to know that you are a just God a loving and merciful God who forgives and renews renew my spirit through peaceful sleep I pray amen many people kneeled before Jesus in mark chapter 1 verse 40 a leper knelt before Jesus imploring if you will you can make me clean 
leprosy was a terrible disease not only physically but emotionally causing a person to be an outcast from his family and community imagine the scene Jesus with a crowd of people pressing around him the murmur of whispers as the crowd parts in fear that this poor leper might touch and infect them but Jesus doesn't move away the leper in his tattered clothing feeling his weakness and shame showing every ounce of his desperation his hands fall limply to the ground to support himself and his eyes don't open as he breathes deeply it took so much energy and faith to just approach Jesus to break through the barriers of social norms and to hope one more time in someone something that could help him if you will you can he spoke he did not doubt Jesus ability to make him clean but he did doubt his willingness would this man be willing does he love him enough does he consider him worthy Jesus responded by healing him physically and emotionally the next verse goes on to tell us that Jesus moved with pity he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him I will be clean Jesus is moved by our needs our humility as we kneel before him others may walk by us not noticing us not acknowledging our presence but Jesus is moved to feeling picture him stretching out his hand towards you we place ourselves before him and he stretches himself towards us he goes beyond the everyday he moves into action towards us feel the soft gentle touch of Jesus on you for this leper it was probably the first time he had been touched that someone cared enough to risk infection for a long time and then Jesus whispers I will he is not only able but he is willing he wants to use his power in our lives for our good he sees us and he wants to help and then he says those wonderful words the words we have been longing to hear be clean feel the power of forgiveness of mercy not only does he see you he wants to help you even now as you drift off to sleep he is touching you and helping you in ways you may never know thank the Lord for his willingness to touch you to heal your hurts feel the power the release flowing through you even now as you rest in the moment relaxed in your efforts receiving his grace once a mother came to Jesus and knelt before him Matthew chapter 20 verse 20 through 21 says then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons and kneeling before him she asked him for something and he said to her what do you want this is such a tender picture of a mother wanting what is best for her sons like the leper it took faith courage for her to come before Jesus and kneel 
she was probably not young as her sons were adults she may have even struggled to take such a prone position it showed her reverence for him and her complete faith that he could and would do what she asked picture yourself kneeling in front of Jesus knowing he has the strength to meet all your needs picture yourself kneeling in front of him wanting to ask him something but not really finding the words what if he thinks we're not worthy to ask or that it is a silly thing what if he thinks it's too big for him or even worse that he doesn't want to do it and then picture him gently saying what do you want he wanted to hear everything that was on this mother's heart he wanted her to pour out her need even if it seemed silly to others it was not to him he cares he invites her he invites you unburden your heart to him even as you take your next breath breathe it out to him let him know your longings and then feel your anxiety melt as he takes your burdens those unfulfilled dreams and desires he takes your burdens off your back and places them on his own he wants to know each one of them and he wants to free you from them even if they seem silly or trite he wants to know feel the weight taken off of you feel the release of tension emotionally and physically relax because it is no longer your burden but his relax your shoulders your arms your neck there is a beautiful word picture as you read further into our original psalm passage oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand there are so many reasons to kneel before Jesus there is desperation like the leper there is a love for others like the mother but the knowledge of who God is the character of God that also causes us to fall on our knees he is our Lord and to say it another way he is our master he has chosen us to be his sheep in his pasture being cared for without worry or stress eating his lush grass provided for thank him for calling you to himself reflect on the sweetness as he entered your life with his saving power of his forgiveness of his grace of his salvation God is also our maker as the person who created you he knows you because he formed you as his work of art he knows your heart and desires and longings he also knows your weaknesses your struggles he more than anyone else knows what you are lacking and how he can meet your needs picture in your mind an artist painting a beautiful painting of a city see colors and parts you are drawn to then look around in the painting and see the shadows and darkness that you maybe don't really like God painted you with beauty and shadows he wants to be with you even in the shadows or picture a potter forming a vase on the potter's wheel spinning around and around right now it's a shapeless blob as it goes around and around his hands firm yet gentle embrace the vase he knows its purpose he knows its possibilities 
as he places pressure in one location he allows it to be free in others causing it to take a unique shape he knows the color glaze he's going to put on the outside but more than anything he knows the love he has felt in forming the inside and then there is the oven the kiln where the vase is baked he knows the perfect temperature that will bake the vase without breaking it he knows how long the vase needs to bake to make it strong he is perfect and he makes things that are perfect in his eyes in the next verse the psalmist reminds us for he is our god and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand we have been thinking tonight of who god is but this is a gentle reminder of who we are the sheep of his pasture he wants to care for us by providing pastures places of refreshment and rest he has provided the place you are in right now to give you rest close your eyes picture yourself as a sheep intent in your pasture content in having the good shepherd care for you lay yourself down and cuddle into the deep lush grass take a deep breath and listen to the stream nearby feel the coolness of the breeze as it strokes your face melt into the ground as you start to fall asleep knowing you are safe in his hands as we rest in his pasture let's talk to God let's bow our knee in submission to him and his will Lord we thank you that every knee will bow we thank you for the way you have met the needs of those in Scripture as they knelt before you and we know that you will meet our needs as we kneel before you bless this person listening as they are one of the sheep in your pasture and that you hold them in your hand Lord we need rest and sleep as only you can give we need refreshment for tomorrow a renewal of our spirit to do what you have for us to do we pray that even now we will drift off to sleep complete relaxation secure in your love and acceptance knowing that you desire to meet all our needs Lord be with us as we rest in you in the name of Jesus amen continue to breathe deeply in and out knowing that your maker knows all about your life sink deeply into the knowledge that he wants to bless you and comfort you and protect you rest in his arms as you begin to go to sleep tonight listen peacefully to the promise that every knee shall bow before him psalms chapter 95 verse 6 gently encourages us oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker know you are secure in the knowledge that your prayers are being heard the unwanted trials and sufferings have been consumed through Jesus work in your dreams may you see the wonders of God come to pass in your life so get comfortable snuggle down into the covers and relax close your eyes and feel the day melt away 
take a deep breath and then exhale it almost like a sigh feel the emptiness of your lungs before taking another breath in and out reflect on where your knees and feet are and relax them removing the tensions of the day think of them kneeling at the foot of the cross with no fear or anxious thoughts safe and secure in the Savior's presence as you pray Lord Jesus I thank you for this promise that every knee will bow I think of those who don't serve you and how their knees will bow I also think of myself and how I will be humbled before you Lord even now give me peace within my soul to know that you are a just God a loving and merciful God who forgives and renews renew my spirit through peaceful sleep I pray amen many people kneeled before Jesus in mark chapter 1 verse 40 a leper knelt before Jesus imploring if you will you can make me clean leprosy was a terrible disease not only physically but emotionally causing a person to be an outcast from his family and community imagine the scene Jesus with a crowd of people pressing around him the murmur of whispers as the crowd parts in fear that this poor leper might touch and infect them but Jesus doesn't move away the leper in his tattered clothing feeling his weakness and shame showing every ounce of his desperation his hands fall limply to the ground to support himself and his eyes don't open as he breathes deeply it took so much energy and faith to just approach Jesus to break through the barriers of social norms and to hope one more time in someone something that could help him if you will you can he spoke he did not doubt Jesus ability to make him clean but he did doubt his willingness would this man be willing does he love him enough does he consider him worthy Jesus responded by healing him physically and emotionally the next verse goes on to tell us that Jesus moved with pity he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him I will be clean Jesus is moved by our needs our humility as we kneel before him others may walk by us not noticing us not acknowledging our presence but Jesus is moved to feeling picture him stretching out his hand towards you we place ourselves before him and he stretches himself towards us he goes beyond the everyday he moves into action towards us feel the soft gentle touch of Jesus on you for this leper it was probably the first time he had been touched that someone cared enough to risk infection for a long time and then Jesus whispers I will he is 
not only able but he is willing he wants to use his power in our lives for our good he sees us and he wants to help and then he says those wonderful words the words we have been longing to hear be clean feel the power of forgiveness of mercy not only does he see you he wants to help you even now as you drift off to sleep he is touching you and helping you in ways you may never know thank the Lord for his willingness to touch you to heal your hurts feel the power the release flowing through you even now as you rest in the moment relaxed in your efforts receiving his grace once a mother came to Jesus and knelt before him Matthew chapter 20 verse 20 through 21 says then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons and kneeling before him she asked him for something and he said to her what do you want this is such a tender picture of a mother wanting what is best for her sons like the leper it took faith courage for her to come before Jesus and kneel she was probably not young as her sons were adults she may have even struggled to take such a prone position it showed her reverence for him and her complete faith that he could and would do what she asked picture yourself kneeling in front of Jesus knowing he has the strength to meet all your needs picture yourself kneeling in front of him wanting to ask him something but not really finding the words what if he thinks we're not worthy to ask or that it is a silly thing what if he thinks it's too big for him or even worse that he doesn't want to do it and then picture him gently saying what do you want he wanted to hear everything that was on this mother's heart he wanted her to pour out her need even if it seemed silly to others it was not to him he cares he invites her he invites you unburden your heart to him even as you take your next breath breathe it out to him let him know your longings and then feel your anxiety melt as he takes your burdens those unfulfilled dreams and desires he takes your burdens off your back and places them on his own he wants to know each one of them and he wants to free you from them even if they seem silly or trite he wants to know feel the weight taken off of you feel the release of tension emotionally and physically relax because it is no longer your burden but his relax your shoulders your arms your neck there is a beautiful word picture as you read further into our original psalm passage oh come let us worship and bow down let us kneel before the Lord our maker for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand there are so many reasons to kneel before Jesus there is desperation like the leper there is a love for others like the mother but the knowledge of who God is the character of God that also causes us to fall on our knees he is our Lord and to say it another way he is our master 
he has chosen us to be his sheep in his pasture being cared for without worry or stress eating his lush grass provided for thank him for calling you to himself reflect on the sweetness as he entered your life with his saving power of his forgiveness of his grace of his salvation God is also our maker as the person who created you he knows you because he formed you as his work of art he knows your heart and desires and longings he also knows your weaknesses your struggles he more than anyone else knows what you are lacking and how he can meet your needs picture in your mind an artist painting a beautiful painting of a city see colors and parts you are drawn to then look around in the painting and see the shadows and darkness that you maybe don't really like God painted you with beauty and shadows he wants to be with you even in the shadows or picture a potter forming a vase on the potter's wheel spinning around and around right now it's a shapeless blob as it goes around and around his hands firm yet gentle embrace the vase he knows its purpose he knows its possibilities as he places pressure in one location he allows it to be free in others causing it to take a unique shape he knows the color glaze he's going to put on the outside but more than anything he knows the love he has felt in forming the inside and then there is the oven the kiln where the vase is baked he knows the perfect temperature that will bake the vase without breaking it he knows how long the vase needs to bake to make it strong he is perfect and he makes things that are perfect in his eyes in the next verse the psalmist reminds us for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand we have been thinking tonight of who God is but this is a gentle reminder of who we are the sheep of his pasture he wants to care for us by providing pastures places of refreshment and rest he has provided the place you are in right now to give you rest close your eyes picture yourself as a sheep content in your pasture content in having the good shepherd care for you lay yourself down and cuddle into the deep lush grass take a deep breath and listen to the stream nearby feel the coolness of the breeze as it strokes your face melt into the ground as you start to fall asleep knowing you are safe in his hands As we rest in his pasture, let's talk to God. Let's bow our knee in submission to him and his will. Lord, we thank you that every knee will bow. We thank you for the way you have met the needs of those in Scripture as they knelt before you. And we know that you will meet our needs as we kneel before you bless this person listening as they are one of the sheep in your pasture and that you hold them in your hand Lord we need rest and sleep as only you can give we need refreshment for tomorrow a renewal of our spirit to do what you have for us to do we pray that even now we will drift off to sleep complete relaxation secure in your love and acceptance 
knowing that you desire to meet all our needs lord be with us as we rest in you in the name of jesus amen continue to breathe deeply in and out knowing that your maker knows all about your life sink deeply into the knowledge that he wants to bless you and comfort you and protect you rest in his arms If you have found your way here, this Bible bedtime story is here to help you find the rest and sleep you seek. Imagine how good you will feel following a restful night of sleep. I invite you to put aside anything which you are carrying. Close your eyes. Getting the right amount of sleep is critical to your well-being. A matter of fact, it's so important, it's mentioned throughout Scripture. When you are ready, allow yourself to wind down. Take a deep breath in through your nose and slowly breathe out through your mouth. As you breathe out, Let all the worries of your day float away. This is your time for peace and rest. In Proverbs 3.24, it says, When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. And in Psalm 3 5, the psalmist writes, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. So, as you lay your weary body under the sheet and blanket, allow yourself to sink into the bed and allow the pillow to carry the weight of your head feeling your bed carry the weight of your body like plants need water to survive your body and mind needs rest to renew itself close your eyes breathe in peaceful thoughts exhale worry and anxiety stretch your feet and toes relieving tight muscles slowly rotating your ankles feel the sense of relief in your tired feet that have carried you to and fro throughout the day relax now Heavenly Father, how I thank you for bringing me safely to the end of the day. And I praise and thank you for your loving kindness and great goodness to me today. Thank you for the many blessings and provisions that you bestowed on me, for keeping me safe and guiding me and bringing me once again to that time of day when I can recharge my spirit and soul with a refreshing night's sleep forgive me I pray if I have said or done anything that was not honoring to your name or have sought to do things in my own strength rather than relying totally on you 
for I praise you that your grace is sufficient for your strength is perfected in my weakness and now Lord as I lie down I pray that you would watch over me to protect and keep me safe give me a deep and refreshing sleep and may I cast any burdens or difficulties on you and not allow my mind to fret or worry for you have promised to carry all my burdens if I will just give them to you protect those I love and father draw those who are far from you close to your embrace I thank you that my life is safe in your arms this I pray in Jesus name amen with your eyes closed our journey tonight takes us to a beautiful forest the pine trees tower above your head the lingering rays of sunlight fade as the evening darkness takes over the light of day through the haze of the dusk sky you see a cabin in the distance a candle flickers through the windows it seems strange that this cabin would be in such a secluded place but you are tired could this be my place of rest for the evening you ask yourself as you approach the inviting quaint cabin in the woods you notice the door is slightly open a crooked sign hanging on an old rusty nail reads come in make yourself at home even though the sign says you are welcome you hesitate but you slowly push open the worn wooden door to peek in as you look into the cabin Jesus says come in my child he says I've been waiting for you he looks at you and says let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat he says to you come with me to a quiet place and get some rest in the corner of the cabin you notice a bed made of willow wood and two fluffy pillows leaning against the headboard crafted of bent willow branches as Jesus in a rocking chair next to the warmth of a fire he says I am the vine you are the branches whoever abides in me and I in him he it is that bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burned you begin to drift off to sleep under the watchful eye of Jesus the Son of God the Prince of peace Jesus repeats those words as found in John 15:56. Remember my child. I am the vine. You are the branches. 
whoever abides in me and I in him he it is that bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burned the fruit that Jesus speaks of is simply evidence of your relationship with him fast asleep now in this little cabin in the woods you realize you've not known this place of peace before you become more comfortable in your bed as the candle flickers across the room Jesus continues to pray for you as he sits in his handmade rocking chair as you drift further into a land of dreams do you see the vineyard just outside the cabin you hadn't noticed it on your journey to the cabin as there is a thick wall of darkness but now you see miles and miles of grapevines each plant is loaded with grapes imagine the growth you see in your life as the fullness of Christ's resurrection fuels and nurtures such growth imagine the fruitfulness that you would like to see and know that God supports you in pursuing it Jesus continues to watch over you as you drift into a deep sleep abide in Jesus now rest in God's grace the rhythm of your breathing gets deeper and deeper abide in him and he will abide in you as Philippians 1 6 says he who began a good work in you will complete it father as I come to the end of another very busy day I praise and thank you for the gift of sleep and the wonderful way that the nighttime hours seem to sweep away all my cares and melt away all my worries as I rest in you thank you that I may confidently cast all our cares and concerns upon you and lay all of our burdens down at your feet knowing that you love me with a perfect love and care for me with fatherly concern keep me safe this night from any perils and dangers and lighten the darkness of this night with your perfect peace your gracious tranquility and your serene grace protect me through the hours of darkness thank you that you are my shield and protection my rock of salvation and my hope and strength hold me close Lord Jesus I pray that I may sleep securely knowing that you are by my bed every moment of the night thank you that moment by moment I am kept in your love amen rest in the truth of God's Word
as you abide in Christ remember Proverbs 3 24 when you lie down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweet continue to sleep knowing abide in him and Jesus will abide in you in Proverbs 3 24 it says when you lie down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweet and in Psalm 3 5 the psalmist writes I lie down and sleep I wake again because the Lord sustains me so as you lay your weary body under the sheet and blanket allow yourself to sink into the bed and allow the pillow to carry the weight of your head feeling your bed carry the weight of your body like plants need water to survive your body and mind needs rest to renew itself close your eyes breathe in peaceful thoughts exhale worry and anxiety stretch your feet and toes relieving tight muscles slowly rotating your ankles feel the sense of relief in your tired feet that have carried you to and fro throughout the day relax now Heavenly Father how I thank you for bringing me safely to the end of the day and I praise and thank you for your loving kindness and great goodness to me today thank you for the many blessings and provisions that you bestowed on me for keeping me safe and guiding me and bringing me once again to that time of day when I can recharge my spirit and soul with a refreshing night's sleep forgive me I pray if I have said or done anything that was not honoring to your name or have sought to do things in my own strength rather than relying totally on you for I praise you that your grace is sufficient for your strength is perfected in my weakness and now Lord as I lie down I pray that you would watch over me to protect and keep me safe give me a deep and refreshing sleep and may I cast any burdens or difficulties on you and not allow my mind to fret or worry for you have promised to carry all my burdens if I will just give them to you protect those I love and father draw those who are far from you close to your embrace I thank you that my life is safe in your arms this I pray in Jesus name amen with your eyes closed our journey tonight takes us to a beautiful forest the pine trees tower above your head 
the lingering rays of sunlight fade as the evening darkness takes over the light of day through the haze of the dusk sky you see a cabin in the distance a candle flickers through the windows it seems strange that this cabin would be in such a secluded place but you are tired could this be my place of rest for the evening you ask yourself as you approach the inviting quaint cabin in the woods you notice the door is slightly open a crooked sign hanging on an old rusty nail reads come in make yourself at home even though the sign says you are welcome you hesitate but you slowly push open the worn wooden door to peek in as you look into the cabin Jesus says come in my child he says I've been waiting for you he looks at you and says let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these then because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat he says to you come with me to a quiet place and get some rest in the corner of the cabin you notice a bed made of willow wood and two fluffy pillows leaning against the headboard crafted of bent willow branches as Jesus in a rocking chair next to the warmth of a fire he says I am the vine you are the branches whoever abides in me and I in him he it is that bears much fruit for apart from me you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burned you begin to drift off to sleep under the watchful eye of Jesus the Son of God the Prince of peace Jesus repeats those words as found in John 15:56. Remember my child. I am the vine. You are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing if anyone does not abide in me he is thrown away like a branch and withers and the branches are gathered thrown into the fire and burned the fruit that Jesus speaks of is simply evidence of your relationship with him fast asleep now in this little cabin in the woods you realize you've not known this place of peace before you become more comfortable in your bed as the candle flickers across the room Jesus continues to pray for you as he sits in his handmade rocking chair as you drift further into a land of dreams do you see the vineyard just outside the cabin you hadn't noticed it on your journey to the cabin as there is a thick wall of darkness but now you see 
miles and miles of grapevines. Each plant is loaded with grapes. Imagine the growth you see in your life as the fullness of Christ's resurrection fuels and nurtures such growth. Imagine the fruitfulness that you would like to see and know that God supports you in pursuing it. Jesus continues to watch over you as you drift into a deep sleep. Abide in Jesus now. Rest in God's grace. The rhythm of your breathing gets deeper and deeper. Abide in Him, and He will abide in you. As Philippians 1 6 says, He who began a good work in you will complete it. Father, as I come to the end of another very busy day, I praise and thank you for the gift of sleep and the wonderful way that the nighttime hours seem to sweep away all my cares and melt away all my worries as I rest in you. Thank you that I may confidently cast all our cares and concerns upon you and lay all of our burdens down at your feet, knowing that you love me with a perfect love and care for me with fatherly concern. Keep me safe this night from any perils and dangers and lighten the darkness of this night with your perfect peace, your gracious tranquility, and your serene grace. Protect me through the hours of darkness. Thank you that you are my shield and protection, my rock of salvation, and my hope and strength. Hold me close, Lord Jesus. I pray that I may sleep securely, knowing that you are by my bed every moment of the night. Thank you. That moment by moment, I am kept in your love. Amen. Rest in the truth of God's Word. As you abide in Christ, remember Proverbs 3.24. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Continue to sleep, knowing, abide in Him, and Jesus will abide in you. Close your eyes as I pray this prayer over you from God's Word. Dear Peaceful Father, thank you for peace, for your care, your love, your mercy, your salvation as this one this child of yours finds sleep tonight as they sleep in bed let them feel your presence over them let them sleep in bed under your wings and it's in Jesus name I pray over them amen and now let's begin by familiarizing ourselves with the passage from Luke chapter 19 verse 1 through 10 Just rest softly as you listen to me read you this bedtime story. Jesus is entering Jericho and was just passing through. 
In this ancient Palestinian town near the Jordan River lives a man named Zacchaeus. He is a chief tax collector and is very rich. He hears that Jesus is passing through today and is hoping to see this rabbi that everyone has been talking about. The problem is, Zacchaeus is pretty short and he's nervous he won't be able to see above the crowd. So he has an idea. Zacchaeus runs ahead and climbs up into a sycamore tree just inside a walled garden in the middle of town. He thinks maybe, from that vantage point, he will be able to see this rabbi from Capernaum. And sure enough, he can. He sees the crowds approaching, following Jesus. And when Jesus comes to the garden, he looks up and says to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurries and comes down, and Jesus receives him joyfully. And when the others in the crowd see this, they all start to grumble a little bit. The rabbi is going in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. But Zacchaeus stands and says to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus says to him, Today salvation has come to you and this house, since you also are a son of Abraham, because I, the Son of Man, have come to seek and to save the lost. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Pause here for a moment as you recall this scene, as you feel the Holy Spirit breathing peace and tranquility over you. Pause here for just a few moments. Make no mind of the time tonight. I will watch the clock. Just ponder and breathe softly as you feel transported, as you feel transformed into this story. Settle there now. So now, visualize this peaceful afternoon scene unfolding in your mind's eye. Imagine yourself in the scene. Imagine being Zacchaeus. You sense the scene around you. Can you feel the early afternoon sun hitting your face? The coolness of the breeze as you sit high up in the sycamore tree. The leaves rustling around you. You look around the town. You see the buildings. Smoke rising from fires being started for dinner. You see people wandering about, talking, laughing, searching. You are sitting high on a sturdy branch, your arms wrapped tightly around the trunk of the tree, steadying yourself. Pause here for a moment in this scene and just feel its peace. You know from the soft, whispered conversations around you that Jesus and the crowds are approaching. You sense that this new rabbi is on his way. If given the opportunity, what would you say to him? Do you feel worthy to even look at him? You are a tax collector. No one wants to be near you. But will Jesus? Will he judge you as others have? Will Jesus show you the mercy that you seek? The mercy, the love, and forgiveness that you seek. And the mercy and the love and forgiveness you crave from others. Will Jesus offer that to you? You begin to whisper, Son of David, Jesus, please have mercy on me. Son of David, Jesus, Rabbi, please have mercy on me. Son of David, Jesus, please have mercy on me. Pause here and let this be your prayer as the Holy Spirit guides you to sleep. Whisper it for a few moments until I return. Son of David, Jesus, 
have mercy on me son of David Jesus have mercy on me here he is finally this rabbi everyone has been talking about everyone is clamoring for his attention but the crowd is too thick voices too loud he will never see you surely never hear you but you whisper again rabbi Jesus son of David have mercy on me and suddenly quite suddenly Jesus stops he stands still the Messiah the Lord the creator of the universe your Savior he stops and stands still for you he turns his head and looks up at you how humbling is that you should be the one kneeling and looking up at him but here is this rabbi looking up at you in a moment that feels like an eternity you hear Jesus say hurry and come down for I must stay at your house today what are your emotions do you doubt he is talking to you does shame drop your eyes does fear cause you to look away you slowly slide out of the tree and drop to the ground you feel your blanket of shame drop from your shoulders as you walk towards the soothing voice of Jesus you feel the weight of your cloak of guilt slip off of your head and mind you feel the peaceful voice of Jesus transform you as you step closer towards him you feel Jesus's arms embrace you his hands on your shoulders his hands sliding up to cradle your face and you hear his soothing voice whisper in your ear I want you I want to stay with you I have chosen you you feel abandonment transform into approval you feel aggravation become feelings of abiding and resting in the presence of Jesus and you tell him behold Lord half of my goods I give to the poor and if I have defrauded anyone of anything I restore it now fourfold but you can visualize it again in Jesus's eyes yes but it is you that I want it is you I want to stay with it is you I have chosen it is you I give release from fear this evening and it is you I grant well-being it is you I give rest tonight I am here for you dear child dear peaceful and restful father bring this one your child rest and sleep tonight keep them from tossing keep them from turning Lord God you never sleep Lord God you never slumber so watch over this your child tonight as they sleep bring peace to their churning mind comfort their mind from spinning and soothe their heart calm them tonight give them sweet rest in your arms in Jesus name Amen God is covering you tonight God is completely protecting you with his strength you are protected under his wings tonight you can find rest under his wings tonight you can find refuge in the loving arms of God tonight God's faithfulness is your shield tonight God's faithfulness is a wall protecting you from harm so that you can rest tonight in God's presence tonight in God's arms you have no need of fear tonight you are in the presence and resting in the arms of the creator of the universe tonight 
let this resting child feel your wings over them tonight as they rest let this sleeping child feel the shield of your arms protecting them from fear and harm tonight let this peaceful soul feel the wall protecting them from harm tonight the wall built lovingly by you the creator of the universe the creator that sits down now by the side of this child as they sleep in Jesus name amen as you rest may you be blessed by the Living God that transforms may the Holy Spirit guide your dreams let me pray for you now as you fall asleep O peaceful and loving father be merciful to this one O God because of your constant love because of your great mercy wipe away their sins wash away all evil and make them clean from their sin tonight tonight let them hear the sounds of joy and gladness create in them tonight a pure heart O God give them again the joy that comes from your salvation God grant this one peace in Jesus name amen so continue to pace your breathing now as you continue to rest in the presence of God just breathe just imagine and dream And now glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen dear peaceful father thank you for peace for your care your love your mercy your salvation as this one this child of yours finds sleep tonight as they sleep in bed let them feel your presence over them let them sleep in bed under your wings and it's in Jesus name I pray over them amen and now let's begin by familiarizing ourselves with the passage from Luke chapter 19 verse 1 through 10 just rest softly as you listen to me read you this bedtime story Jesus is entering Jericho and was just passing through in this ancient Palestinian town near the Jordan River lives a man named Zacchaeus he is a chief tax collector and is very rich he hears that Jesus is passing through today and is hoping to see this rabbi that everyone has been talking about the problem is Zacchaeus is pretty short and he's nervous he won't be able to see above the crowd so he has an idea Zacchaeus runs ahead and climbs up into a sycamore tree just inside a walled garden in the middle of town he thinks maybe from that vantage point he will be able to see this rabbi from Capernaum and sure enough he can he sees the crowds approaching following Jesus and when Jesus comes to the garden he looks up and says to him Zacchaeus hurry and come down for I must stay at your house today so he hurries and comes down and Jesus receives him joyfully and when the others in the crowd see this they all start to grumble a little bit the rabbi is going in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner but Zacchaeus stands and says to the Lord behold Lord the half of my goods I give to the poor and if I have defrauded anyone of anything I restore it fourfold and Jesus says to him today salvation has come to you and this house since you also are a son of Abraham because I the son of man have come to seek and to save the lost 
this is the word of the Lord thanks be to God pause here for a moment as you recall this scene as you feel the Holy Spirit breathing peace and tranquility over you pause here for just a few moments make no mind of the time tonight I will watch the clock just ponder and breathe softly as you feel transported as you feel transformed into this story settle there now so now visualize this peaceful afternoon scene unfolding in your mind's eye imagine yourself in the scene imagine being Zacchaeus you sense the scene around you can you feel the early afternoon Sun hitting your face the coolness of the breeze as you sit high up in the sycamore tree the leaves rustling around you you look around the town you see the buildings smoke rising from fires being started for dinner you see people wandering about talking laughing searching you are sitting high on a sturdy branch your arms wrapped tightly around the trunk of the tree steadying yourself pause here for a moment in this scene and just feel its peace you know from the soft whispered conversations around you that Jesus and the crowds are approaching you sense that this new rabbi is on his way if given the opportunity what would you say to him do you feel worthy to even look at him you are a tax collector no one wants to be near you but will Jesus will he judge you as others have will Jesus show you the mercy that you seek the mercy the love and forgiveness that you seek and the mercy and the love and forgiveness you crave from others will Jesus offer that to you you begin to whisper son of David Jesus please have mercy on me son of David Jesus rabbi please have mercy on me son of David Jesus please have mercy on me pause here and let this be your prayer as the Holy Spirit guides you to sleep whisper it for a few moments until I return son of David Jesus have mercy on me son of David Jesus have mercy on me here he is finally this rabbi everyone has been talking about everyone is clamoring for his attention but the crowd is too thick voices too loud he will never see you surely never hear you but you whisper again rabbi Jesus son of David have mercy on me and suddenly quite suddenly Jesus stops he stands still the Messiah the Lord the creator of the universe your Savior he stops and stands still for you he turns his head and looks up at you how humbling is that you should be the one kneeling and looking up at him but here is this rabbi looking up at you in a moment that feels like an eternity you hear Jesus say hurry and come down for I must stay at your house today what are your emotions do you doubt he is talking to you does shame drop your eyes does fear cause you to look away you slowly slide out of the tree and drop to the ground you feel your blanket of shame drop from your shoulders as you walk towards the soothing voice of Jesus you feel the weight of your cloak of guilt slip off of your head and mind 
you feel the peaceful voice of Jesus transform you as you step closer towards him you feel Jesus's arms embrace you his hands on your shoulders his hands sliding up to cradle your face and you hear his soothing voice whisper in your ear I want you I want to stay with you I have chosen you you feel abandonment transform into approval you feel aggravation become feelings of abiding and resting in the presence of Jesus and you tell him behold Lord half of my goods I give to the poor and if I have defrauded anyone of anything I restore it now fourfold but you can visualize it again in Jesus's eyes yes but it is you that I want it is you I want to stay with it is you I have chosen it is you I give release from fear this evening and it is you I grant well-being it is you I give rest tonight I am here for you dear child dear peaceful and restful father bring this one your child rest and sleep tonight keep them from tossing keep them from turning Lord God you never sleep Lord God you never slumber so watch over this your child tonight as they sleep bring peace to their churning mind comfort their mind from spinning and soothe their heart calm them tonight give them sweet rest in your arms in Jesus name amen God is covering you tonight God is completely protecting you with his strength you are protected under his wings tonight you can find rest under his wings tonight you can find refuge in the loving arms of God tonight God's faithfulness is your shield tonight God's faithfulness is a wall protecting you from harm so that you can rest tonight in God's presence tonight in God's arms you have no need of fear tonight you are in the presence and resting in the arms of the creator of the universe tonight let this resting child feel your wings over them tonight as they rest let this sleeping child feel the shield of your arms protecting them from fear and harm tonight let this peaceful soul feel the wall protecting them from harm tonight the wall built lovingly by you the creator of the universe the creator that sits down now by the side of this child as they sleep in Jesus name amen as you rest may you be blessed by the living God that transforms may the Holy Spirit guide your dreams let me pray for you now as you fall asleep O peaceful and loving father be merciful to this one O God because of your constant love because of your great mercy wipe away their sins wash away all evil and make them clean from their sin tonight tonight let them hear the sounds of joy and gladness create in them tonight a pure heart O God give them again the joy that comes from your salvation God grant this one peace in Jesus name amen so continue to pace your breathing now as you continue to rest in the presence of God just breathe 
just imagine and dream and now glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner feel yourself relaxing just falling back surrendering yourself and being held up by the strong right hand of God Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Jesus uses this prayer in a parable about a pious Pharisee and a despised tax collector Jesus tells of the pride of the Pharisee and the humility of the lowly tax collector too humble to even look up to God as he prays too ashamed to even glance towards heaven beating his chest in agony over the weight of sin he feels on his shoulders can you relate to him in the simple prayer of this tax collector the prayer Jesus said would make this man righteous before God the prayer Jesus said would lift this man into the very presence of God Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner release the weight of your worldly cares as you focus on the mercy of Jesus O peaceful and heavenly father give this one your child rest for the refreshing of their soul and body grant this one this gift I pray keep them in that perfect peace which you have promised to them whose mind is fixed on you and give them such a sense of your presence that in these moments of silence they may enjoy the blessed assurance of your love through you Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner the words are important not just Lord not just Jesus and not just Christ but Lord submitting to his authority and Jesus acknowledging his humanity and Christ honoring his title the Messiah Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner 
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Mercy means to show compassion or forgiveness towards someone who doesn't deserve it and has done nothing to earn it. Mercy, grace, the very center and core of God's gift to you. So just rest in it tonight. Receive it. O beautiful and loving Father, be merciful to this one, O God, because of your constant love. Because of your great mercy, wipe away their sins. Wash away all evil and make them clean. Let them hear the sounds of joy and gladness. Create in them a pure heart and give them again the joy that comes from your salvation. God grant this one peace so that they can have a renewed, fresh spirit ready to face every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Feel Jesus' embrace. Feel Jesus whispering His love and care and mercy for you. As you continue to relax, I want you to pace your breathing as you listen to the prayer of the tax collector. Let His prayer become yours as you rest, as you find calm and peace. Listen as I read the Jesus prayer with longer and longer pauses between and use the pauses to settle your thoughts on Jesus. You may notice that your thoughts wander in the moments of stillness, and that's perfectly natural. Each time your mind begins to wander, and it will happen, just let the wanderings be a reminder to come back gently to the thoughts of mercy of Jesus. Let the prayer center you back into the peace of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, Have mercy on me, a sinner. O peaceful and loving Father, be merciful to this one, O God, because of your constant love, because of your great mercy. Wipe away their anxiety. Wash away all evil and make them clean from their sin tonight. Tonight, let them hear the sounds of joy and gladness. Create in them tonight a pure heart, O God. Give them again the joy that comes from your salvation. God grant them this one peace so they can sleep and awaken with a renewed spirit ready to face the day ahead. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, Have mercy on me, a sinner.
pace your breathing as I pray God's word over you when you lie down you will not be afraid when you lie down your sleep will be sweet when you lie down no one will make you afraid many will rejoice with you when you lay down you will be at peace and you will sleep for the Lord keeps you safe when you lay down to sleep behold there is an angel with you at this your sleep will be pleasant to you Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner dear peaceful father thank you for your peace your care your love your salvation and your mercy as this child of yours finds rest as they rest let them feel your presence over them let them rest under your wings and now God bless them God keep them God let your face shine upon them and give them your peace by your grace through faith in your son in whose name that I pray amen Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord God I ask that you watch over your child tonight hold them in the fold of your tender loving arms and father I pray for deep rest and security for this dear and wonderful person that you love and care for give them visions and dreams of your hope and refresh them for a new day be their help in time of need and allow them to sleep deeply tonight in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit amen as you listen to my voice just relax and let me guide as we begin by listening and joining me in the Jesus prayer it has its origins in Egyptian Christian monasteries in the fifth century the prayer is just simply a method of opening up the heart to the prayer of the heart it's considered to be the unceasing prayer that Paul mentions the prayer that is voiced so humbly in Luke chapter 18 now just listen to the words don't concentrate no need to focus on them no effort just notice them soak in their truth Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner 
Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner feel yourself relaxing just falling back surrendering yourself and being held up by the strong right hand of God Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Jesus uses this prayer in a parable about a pious Pharisee and a despised tax collector Jesus tells of the pride of the Pharisee and the humility of the lowly tax collector too humble to even look up to God as he prays too ashamed to even glance towards heaven beating his chest in agony over the weight of sin he feels on his shoulders can you relate to him in the simple prayer of this tax collector the prayer Jesus said would make this man righteous before God the prayer Jesus said would lift this man into the very presence of God Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner release the weight of your worldly cares as you focus on the mercy of Jesus O peaceful and heavenly Father, give this one, your child, rest for the refreshing of their soul and body. Grant this one this gift, I pray. Keep them in that perfect peace which you have promised to them, whose mind is fixed on you, and give them such a sense of your presence that in these moments of silence they may enjoy the blessed assurance of your love through you Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner the words are important not just Lord not just Jesus and not just Christ but Lord submitting to his authority and Jesus acknowledging his humanity and Christ honoring his title the Messiah Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner mercy means to show compassion or forgiveness towards someone who doesn't deserve it and has done nothing to earn it mercy grace the very center and core of God's gift to you so just rest in it tonight receive it O oh, beautiful and loving father be merciful to this one O oh God because of your constant love because of your great mercy wipe away their sins 
Wash away all evil and make them clean. Let them hear the sounds of joy and gladness. Create in them a pure heart and give them again the joy that comes from your salvation. God grant this one peace so that they can have a renewed, fresh spirit ready to face every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Feel Jesus' embrace. Feel Jesus whispering his love and care and mercy for you. As you continue to relax, I want you to pace your breathing as you listen to the prayer of the tax collector. Let his prayer become yours as you rest, as you find calm and peace. Listen as I read the Jesus prayer with longer and longer pauses between and use the pauses to settle your thoughts on Jesus. You may notice that your thoughts wander in the moments of stillness, and that's perfectly natural. Each time your mind begins to wander, and it will happen, just let the wanderings be a reminder to come back gently to the thoughts of mercy of Jesus. Let the prayer center you back into the peace of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. O peaceful and loving Father, be merciful to this one, O God, because of your constant love, because of your great mercy. Wipe away their anxiety. Wash away all evil and make them clean from their sin tonight. Tonight, let them hear the sounds of joy and gladness. Create in them tonight a pure heart, O God. Give them again the joy that comes from your salvation. God grant them this one peace so they can sleep and awaken with a renewed spirit ready to face the day ahead. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Pace your breathing as I pray God's word over you. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. When you lie down, no one will make you afraid. Many will rejoice with you. When you lay down, you will be at peace and you will sleep. For the Lord keeps you safe. When you lay down to sleep, behold, there is an angel with you. 
at this your sleep will be pleasant to you Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner dear peaceful father thank you for your peace your care your love your salvation and your mercy as this child of yours finds rest as they rest let them feel your presence over them let them rest under your wings and now God bless them God keep them God let your face shine upon them and give them your peace by your grace through faith in your son in whose name that I pray amen Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner Lord God I ask that you watch over your child tonight hold them in the fold of your tender loving arms and father I pray for deep rest and security for this dear and wonderful person that you love and care for give them visions and dreams of your hope and refresh them for a new day be their help in time of need and allow them to sleep deeply tonight in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit amen <laughs> 